Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today's is a fun one. We're gonna talk about some recently discontinued baits, or at least they're discontinued. As far as I know, maybe some of you will correct me out there, but these are some baits that I have had a ton of success with that you may still be able to find on the shelves of your local tackle shop. And if you can, I would recommend purchasing them because I know if I find them before you, I will be purchasing them. These are some really good baits that I've had a lot of good success with. So I'm gonna walk you through each of these and uh, I would really appreciate it if there's other baits that you guys think are really good but have been discontinued recently as well. Throw that up in the comment section too because a lot of times I'm not even aware that they've been discontinued until well after I get the chance to purchase them if I know they're in some local tackle shops. So uh, the, the sooner I can find out the better and the same goes for the rest of the viewers because I'm sure if they find out one of their favorite lures has been discontinued, they'll go out and purchase some as well. So let's get into this guys. The first, and before I give you the first, I wanna remind you that I'm doing a bunch of lake breakdowns with fishthemoment.com. So if you want some help on your local lakes, I provide 40 waypoints based on the season with a bunch of different patterns. So check that out, the links in my video description. Also guys, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one virtual lessons. So if you wanna have some direct one-on-one -on -one time with me, they're hour long uh, Google phone calls where we can talk and show stuff through the computer. It's a really good way to communicate too. That link is also in my video description and that's also through fishthemoment.com. And as all of you know, or a lot of you know, I've been working with Fish the Moment, doc, uh, Fish the Moment to come out with a new YouTube channel called Bass Fishing Declassified. It's a bunch of other anglers and myself providing regional tips. So that's something you probably want to check out if you haven't already. And that's also in my video description. All right, so let's get to the first bait here. The first bait is a Jackal Aragon. This is a jointed deep diving crankbait. One of the reasons I love it is because of the sound you get from it. It's really a loud clacking sound in the water. And this is a bait that I've caught a ton of fish on. You know, it came out and I think it's one of those things that they really pushed it hard and a lot of people uh, may have seen it and thought it was gimmicky and therefore passed it up. I know I purchased a handful of them and at this point I wish I had bought more because I have found that this bait's a killer on the river here, the smallmouth love it, and the pre-spawn largemouth in the Ozark region, I've had really good success. And to be honest with you, I haven't even used it in enough places to say it does or does not work in other parts of the country, but I haven't, I, I really just started using this over the last couple of years. And at that point, it was a little bit too late to come in contact with them. It dives like in that six to eight foot range, depending on the, the line that you're using but I just really like the sound. It's a different sound to it, and it's got an erratic motion. It's a good hunting bait that deflects really well off cover. So this is the Jackal Aragon. It's a, a good, fun crankbait that I've had a lot of success with, and I've only got a couple at this point. I would like to uh, obtain a few extras. Next up, we've got here a trusty old Megabass Vision 110 silent riser and as far as i know these have been discontinued as well so the silent riser means it's got no rattle and it floats and this has been a killer bait for me on uh flats that are shallower where i actually try to hit the bottom and then i slowly let it rise up so instead of it pausing and suspending i get it down to the bottom and that slow rise can be deadly on pre-spawn fish uh, specifically and a lot of times when you're talking pre-spawn fish you're fishing shallower. You're not necessarily always out. So you might be fishing in that six foot of water or less quite a bit. And having a slow rising jerk bait and a silent one can be the key. And this is a bait that I'm lucky enough, I've got a pretty good stockpile of them. Uh, this is the NC Pro Blue Blood Color, one of my favorite spring colors. Just the Vision 110, but it's a silent riser. And as far as I know, they don't make the silent risers anymore. So if you can find them, I think you should buy them. I think there were only a handful of colors too. It wasn't a very big run that they did. Next up, we're gonna to go to a couple of soft plastics. This is the Berkeley Shaky Snake. So this was the Berkeley Powerbait Shaky Snake. This is a shaky head worm that has like this ribbed, kind of that ring tail worm look to it. 
This was a really good player for me. I've still got a handful of bags of these, but not as many as I'd like. But it's a very good shaky head worm. You get extremely good lifelike motion out of that tail. It's It just moves in the water better than most other baits. And you get a lot of different action. It holds some bubbles when it falls. I've just had a lot of really good success with the Berkeley Shaky Snake. And unfortunately, it's been discontinued as far as I know. Um, and you should probably still be able to find them on the shelves if you can. The problem is it wasn't a very widely used bait to begin with. It was only around for a couple of years. And I, I have only seen it on the, on the shelves of, bait, of a few bait shops over the years. But if you can find it, that's a good one. Next up, this is one that I've looked so hard to find. I've scoured eBay. I have not been successful. I am down to my last two baits. This is the Jackal Flick Shake in the violet shad color. So it's this pink, just straight pink color. This is one I've had, I've caught so many fish. Uh, and I've gone through everything, like I said, I've done really well in some tournaments using this as a wacky rig worm, as a uh, straight shaky head worm, as a flick shake. The color, there's something about the color and there's something about the shape of this worm that seems to work really well. Uh, man, I've had some good days thinking back the Forest Wood Cup on Lake Murray. Uh, I caught a bunch of key fish on it. It's just, it's a pink worm. And I know you're probably looking at me saying, go find another pink worm, but there's something to this flick shake in this violet shad color. And it's a pink worm, but it's got like, I don't know if you can see it. It's got, I believe, little tiny silver flake in it. So it's got just a shimmer to it. It's not really a flash. It's got like a, a bait fish shimmer to it. And I'm down to my last two, unfortunately. Last up is another one that I'm really just, I, I don't feel like it was given the chance to succeed. And that's the Berkeley Powerbait Windup Worm. So this was a, a supposed to be more of a speed worm style bait. It was out for a couple of years. It's got a really nice boot tail kicker on it. It's a big profiled worm. It would it would be equivalent to like a Magnum Speed Worm. Uh, now they came out with the uh, Berkeley Powerbait uh, Boss Speed Worm, I believe is what it's what it's called. Uh, I just, I've had a lot of great luck with this and I've got a decent stockpile of them, but this has been a bait that I've done excellent down in Florida. I did really good on Gunnersville. I do really well up here in the North country fishing around some grass flats, but I just like how you get the boot tail kick out of it, but it's that bigger profile and it's still got really gl good gliding motion. So if you can find it, that's the Berkeley wind up worm. That's been a really good one. So those are five discontinued baits, recently discontinued baits that aren't going for crazy prices on the secondary market if you can find them. They're still potentially available in local bait shops if you like to go hunt tackle. And uh, I do have a feeling that, you know, in another handful of years, they could be worth a little bit. So it could be a little bit of an investment on your part. But I know myself, I'm always looking for these baits to add to my collection so that I have them in, in the future. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, let me know because I can do more of these discontinued bait series. I'm a tackle junkie. I love this stuff and I love adding to my collection too. And it only makes me feel better about buying tackle if I know it's been discontinued. So guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Share it on social media. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. We'll have another video coming out tomorrow.